Jackie, you're in the shot. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Printervention. This is a video series uh, we're doing here at Inkjet Inc. to really help um, packagers and uh, solve their marking and coding uh, issues and uh, really provide um, a service to them that uh, maybe sometimes is a gap in the industry. Um, I'm with Ryan today. Ryan is um, one of our inside folks, covers a big portion of the country in the East Coast, mid Midwest. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about our TIG, Thermal Inkjet line, which is uh, the brand is Answer, A-N-S-E-R. And uh, Ryan, you, you've dealt a lot with the TIG product. I have. Why don't you tell me just a, first maybe a little bit about um, what people are, are typically using our Answer products for and, 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 uh, and why they're so popular. Well, uh, TIG actually is a, a great technology because it's really hands off, um, really low maintenance, zero maintenance. Um, you're not having to clean print heads and, and, and do uh, touches as often with the technology, which is, is a beautiful thing for, for production facilities. They love them. Um, typically, it's used for case coding purposes. Okay. Um, we've come a long way um, in, in the last few years as far as inks are concerned for mm -hmm. thermal inkjet. So we've uh, it's really opened up uh, the marketplace for a lot of different industries and a lot of different applications that we haven't been able to hit on in the past. Um, mm -hmm. The inks have come so far that they can hit on glasses, uh, plastic substrates, films, things of that nature. So, so maybe a little bit describe um, the difference you said is it's popular with like boxes and corrugate that type of thing yep. but then with the film and, and cases what's the difference between in the TIG line where you're gonna choose something that's gonna go on a substrate that's a little more complicated or non-porous compared to just just printing on a box I mean what 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 are you gonna choose what are you gonna choose and, and why would you choose that differently um, as far as the um, well you know um, Tint is actually great for for non porous and for for porous and and that's kind of what I was touching on a little bit earlier is 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 it, it's really opened up into a lot of different uh, spaces. Um, the the reason why Tint um, is gaining so much traction right now is ease of use. Uh, just is, is simply that um, you know it's 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 cartridge based. Every time you change out an ink cartridge, you're getting a brand new print head. Um, so you don't have a, a complicated fluidic system to manage or anything like that. Like CHA. Exactly. Right. So you're just pulling out a cartridge and, and putting the cap back on it. That's your preventative maintenance. So that's the... the I guess I was system. trying to lead you to maybe the difference between why someone would use the Pro S with the solvent base uh -huh. compared to just the smarter the smart one. Oh, I got and you. Okay. Just a little uh -huh. bit on that difference. I was trying to do it based... I was trying to sound smart based on the difference uh, uh, application. But maybe you could explain where, you know, we've got the smart, smart one and Pro S. What is the Pro S doing that the others are not doing? So the Pro S actually um, is your, opens up your entire ink portfolio. Mm -hmm. So there's no limitations. The Pro S can run everything. It okay. can run all of our solvent inks. It can run our S2 cartridge, which is our really aggressive, fast drying ink cartridge. Okay. Um, even on glass substrates, you can achieve, uh, achieve dry times of one to three seconds on okay. glass, um, yep. on uh, HDPE, PPE, things of that nature. Anywhere from one to two seconds dry time on films, you can even get it almost instantly to dry yep. without any heat or UV cure or anything like that. So it's just okay. a really easy ink to maintain um, uh, and hits on a ton of substrates. Now your your smart one and then your smart half inch printer are specifically for corrugate. Keeps the cost down on the unit and everything and then it runs our water based inks. And usually not not high speed, not need usually not high speed. You know they'll actually fly. Um, okay. they, they're, it's not going to be as fast as CIJ yep. where of course where you're printing on a bottling line or something like right. that but it should be able to hit up to about 250 feet per minute so it, it can actually move actually even with the four inches of print height at the half inch. Excellent. Yeah. Awesome. Well, a couple of things. Ryan created a how-to video where he narrated a how-to video and did it um, on creating a message um, in one of the answer printers. So I'll put a link to that because that's a that's a popular video. And then uh, we're going to create some more um, content in the future with some of the really popular kind of support items around uh, the answer products. And, uh, and that's something to look forward to in the near future. So yep. thank you. Anything you want to 
Yeah, yeah, that link that he mentioned as well, it does have a little bit of a walkthrough of different menus and, mm -hmm. and everything on the YouTube as well. It's not just uh, uh, message creation. There's some other stuff gotcha. there that may be beneficial as Again, well. Again, I'm trying to sell you. You know what I'm talking about. I don't. Oh, That's okay. why I try to ask Don't sell questions. yourself short. <laughs> the guy knows his stuff. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks, Mark.